goals. Because we were doing the one goals. Right, the mood. Tell me what is the mood, please, Billy? Uh, three. Three, why? Uh, absolutely, well done. So the mode is, of course, three. The median, then, be careful when you're getting the median. When you added them up, what did you get it to equal, please, James? The median, I got to three. Three, how did you get it? Um, by uh, adding them all up and dividing them by... Well, if I added them all up, added one, then divided them by two. Excellent, so you added them all up. What did you get when you added them all up? Seventeen. Seventeen plus one... Why did he plus one, Ramu? <coughs> to make it even. Divide it by two. Why are you dividing by two, Ramu? Because that's what you do when you find the Yeah, excellent. Find the middle, divide by two. So that's the A's value. And then go up. Five plus two is seven it's plus nine. nine. Oh, sorry, the ninth value. Thank you. Five plus two is seven. Plus nine is going to be more, obviously, than your ninth value. So it's going to be three. And then your last one, the range. Kurt, do the range for us. Um, it's the hours, which is 4 minus 1, you get 3, which is a difference. Excellent. It's going to be 4 minus 1, which is, of course, 3. That's very easy. Now, in terms of grades, Aisha, that, I know you're trying to explain. Just give me a second. In terms of grades, that there would be grade D towards grade C. So that's very basic. You've no problem doing that. You know, that's easy. Right. We're moving on now to our grouped frequency. Um... That's what we're looking at to do. Okay, we've went through our objectives already, so this is basically what we're going to do. We should get all of these done today. We're going to start with understand how to group our data. Oh, come on, Bell, come on, come on, come on. Excuse me, that was just, you know, Shocking. putting them off, just showing them about my skill. Right, we're going to collect our data. After we collect our data, we're going to put it in our table, and then we're going to analyse it. Right, buddy, you ready? Uh, everyone gets many goals. <laughs> Two or three goals each. Turn, turn, okay. I'll try and put. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three. Three. John, you three. Turn the three. Uh, you can't do more than a hundred. We'll stop it at a hundred. Uh, I can do hundreds and hundreds. No, no, what is yours? What is yours? Okay, so fill in the rest of your frequencies, so you should be able to get the rest of your frequencies. 
Sorry? The mid point and the first one is here. Yeah. <coughs> what, even, even ones in black? Yeah. Yeah. Blue and black, yeah. Jonathan, do you in, enjoy maths here at Gateway? Yeah, it's fun, it's nice. So, we have some good lessons and we, got, we get to interact and stuff. So, so when you say interact, what do you mean by that? Like, we get to talk to the teacher, we do more stuff like, no normal maths lessons, you would sit there and just get the questions up on the board and you just answer them. We interact like we, for example, we do like kick-ups with the ball and stuff to count the frequency of how many we can do, and we interact that and like we kind of combine it with the maths, so it makes it more fun and stuff. Yeah. Maths G GCSE, are you going to do it this year or next year? We'll do it this year. This year. Yeah. So that that's that's a year early. That's that's going to be quite a lot yeah. of pressure, isn't it? Yeah. It how is. this school going to is it? How the school going to get you? from now until the exam day. Do you feel you're going to be ready on the exam day? Yeah, I think I'm going to be ready. I think I'm ready now, to be honest. It's just revision, I guess. If you revise, then you would get be ready on time and stuff. Dominic, there seems to be a really good atmosphere in that maths yeah. class. Why is that? I think you can just tell that um, like Miss has got so much energy and you can tell that she really enjoys what she's doing. So that energy gets like transformed into us and then we start like, you know, there's a great atmosphere. like. We, her energy gets passed on to us and then we actually enjoy it, start enjoying what we're doing. And it's stuff like she gets engaged, like like we um, like little games and stuff like that, just to, like, no, so we're not stuck just looking at the board, really. Do you enjoy maths? Um, I didn't used to enjoy it, but since we've got the, like, Miss McLaughlin, it's just so much more funner and I enjoy getting to maths now. Because there is that fun element, but yeah. you're still learning. Yeah, I've learned so much more this year than what I have in the past years. Like, just because the atmosphere in the class makes me want to go. Do you have revision classes? Um, yeah, I think it's every Tuesday and like, we go there and we just go over stuff that we don't know. Like. So it does appear that when it comes to this business end of the year, because mm -hmm. you've got the exams, the school really does go an extra mile. Yeah, it, like, it, she tries so hard to like, get, make sure you get a good grade. If you don't understand it, she makes sure you go back to understand it. So you're kind of all confident that we're going to do well. Oh, um, we're really, really impressed by how our classes have been doing. Um, we've doubled our results in two years, basically. If we go back two years ago, we had about 30% of students passing maths. Um, last year, we had 63% of students. Currently, our year 11s, we've 60% that have passed, and we're hoping to increase that to about 75% by the end of the year. So really impressed, really impressed with the students. You really believe in the subject, don't you? And it really comes across to the pupils. Is this, is this a typical lesson for you? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think the main thing about students is you have to try and engage them and you have to have a relationship with them. I mean, maths, sometimes it is a bit, it is a bit boring and, you know, you're doing algebra equations and it's hard to make that exciting. But if you have a really good relationship with your students, that comes across. And I think for young people in general, um, sometimes they get quite bad press. And if we just help build relationships, with them that really comes across and then they, they really thrive and have confidence in them because they can do really well and they all students want to succeed and if we just find what they're interested in then they'll do really well I believe that. Do you still get asked that question um, what's the relevance of maths? I always get asked that I always always get asked that and um, sometimes you put it into context and you talk about like Friday we had a casino in to do probability with the students. Um, we, we want to take the kids to visit the Olympic site and talk about all the maths involved in that. So we try and make it more and more relevant to them. Um, also we do say, you know, it's becoming more and more important to get your maths, to get your English, to get into college and open up opportunities for our students because you have to believe and the students have to believe that there is opportunities out there as soon as they're finished school and they want to achieve and we won't be doing our job unless we were thinking about them and what they're going to do in life. Because that's a very good point.